Vishnudev has not come from the Lord Maharaj. Ask some question to the body. This is all be ready. To whom what question will be? <laughs> ask. I don't know. That's not all should be ready. Five to have done, but something is page fifty seven, last test in life. When a person realizes himself to be an eternal servant, I want to say that. This is very carefully hear all these things. Swamiji has written all these things. Arupa Swami has written. Or I am explaining. That we should adopt all these things. And we should be established in Sukhmati Bhakti. So very manually and carefully we should hear all these things. I I told something last day about uh, name and diksha. I know that generally so many devotees have all these doubts. What I cleared today, yesterday, I think. This will go over whole world, all these things. And it can create a revolution. So it has been written in his books deeply. He has written. I only expanded or explained them. But he has written all these things. Rupa Goswami has written. So our duty is, is to give a what, reason, proper reason, reason to understand all these things. So when I read this, oh, I think that all oh, Rupa Goswami is that so deep. So without the help of explanation of any pure devotee like Bhakti Minam Thakur, Swami Ji, Srila Prabhupada, we cannot realize all these things. So it is in books. And that is why Achar or any devotee realizes these facts and again writes something. So writing never stops. If Swamiji was there, he has written so many books more, more and more. So when a person arrives in some... <clears throat> to be an eternal servitor of Krishna, he loses interest in everything but Krishna's service. Mean? He doesn't. He gives up his desire for sense gratification and just wants to serve Krishna. Well, he believes in Krishna's service. And other things he forgets. Always thinking of Krishna, devising means by which to spread the holy name of Krishna, he understands that his only business is in spreading the Krishna consciousness movement all over the world. Such a person is recognized... Is not a... He will clear it. Afterward, he will clear it. The symptom 
of a pure position of ease. Two, business is to, in spreading the Krishna consciousness. What is Krishna consciousness? Before Swamiji, this consciousness. Krishna consciousness was there or not? Yes. Hmm? What? Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it was there or not? It is eternal. Narada Arishi is one of them. Yeah, the greatest. I think anyone cannot uh, cut this argument. Brahma is, or Chaturmukh Brahma, is first of our Guru. Now, in Krishna there, Sukadeva Goswami, after that, uh, Sukha Goswami, Madhvacharya, Ramani, Vishwaswami, Nimbadi, Ishwar Pujpad, Madhvendra Pujpad, Sarupta Mudra, Gaya Ramani, and up to Subhakti Siddhanta Saraswati and his disciple, one of our disciples. All are Krishna consciousness. He will clear it after that. What is Krishna consciousness? Any sect or any uh, special something? Any group? Not sect. Mm. So, anyone is spreading Krishna consciousness. Huh? All over world. Uh, Such a person huh? is to be recognized as an Uttama Adhikari. <laughs> and his association <laughs> should be immediately accepted according Anyone. to the six processes. Not of a special sex, movement, or group, or anything. Anyone is doing that. But I'm, I know that I'm not that. In that class, I'm not. It may be that I am Madhyam Kanista. <laughs> I know it. Sometimes in the stage of Kanista, and sometimes of that entering in Madhyam. Madhyam. We know that you are. You cannot realize this because you are not Sometimes he falls down, then he comes from Uttamadikari to fallen stage. A Uttamadikari cannot fall in any way, in any condition. And we must have this idea. A falling down, then he was not Uttamadikari. He has told afterward, we will come to this point afterward. So if anyone is bona fide and actually giving inspiration to all. Himself he always in the line, then he should be treated like Uttamadhikari. Hmm? But some persons, they will live <coughs> for their own gain, even Madhyamadhikari they are not. And they may fall down. 
Um, the, some some gurus are preaching all around the world, making many disciples. Many disciples, they have not fallen, but they do not possess the qualities of Uttama. They will oh. explain. For the family, <coughs> I have not to tell anything about it. This is explained. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I found it like He is so expert that he will not leave any point to be discussed. Every point. Only I will have to uh, show you that here he is right. <laughs> Indeed, the advanced Uttama Arakari Vaishnava devotee should be accepted as a spiritual master. Uh, Indeed, advanced Uttama Dikari Vaishnava should be accepted as a spiritual master. Yes. And if he is not, he has some doubts. And not Everything that one possesses should... If anyone changes his Siddhant, sometimes this, sometimes this, sometimes jumping on this brain, sometimes on that, sometimes on that, sometimes falling down, again jumping. <laughs> Established to what is one. This is all this. Everything one possesses should be offered to him, for it is enjoined that one should deliver whatever he has to the spiritual master. The brahmachari in particular is supposed to beg alms from others and offer them to the spiritual master. However, one should not imitate the behavior of an advanced devotee or Mahabhagwat without being self-realized. Yeah. Any advanced devotee like Sukhdev Goswami never takes shoes. So I should not take. This is not good. We should not imitate any Mahabhagavata. Mahabhagavata um, sometimes uh, turban in a special way. No? Sometimes he wears some sandals, nothing on body, only this. Then a Kanishta Dikari thinks that anyone can honor if I am taking that that process. To attract persons if we are sandal, wooden sandal, and a mile he, he can walk, we cannot. But he can, one mile, two mile he can walk on that. In severe cold he can be with him. We cannot be. But this is imitation. Try to follow, try to follow. Don't go to external, external and expose all These are the not system. Hmm. For by such imitation, hmm. one will eventually become degraded. Yes. They will not advance, but they will degrade. Hmm. In this verse, Srila Rupa Goswami advises the devotee to be intelligent enough. This is conclusion. Hmm. To be intelligent enough to distinguish between the Kanista Adhikari, Madhyama Adhikari, and Uttama Adhikari. Hmm. The devotee should also know his own position and should not try to imitate a devotee situated on a higher platform. Now this is going on. And that is why so much folly. So much. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has given some practical hints to the effect that an Uttama Arikari Vaishnava can be recognized by his ability to convert many fallen souls to Vaishnavism. One should not become a spiritual master unless he has attained the platform of Uttama Arikari. What it means? 
If one is still a Madhima or a Kanista, he shouldn't become a spiritual master. To go with Nepal Prabhu. Uh, that's one. Um, a person's Adi car is always determined by faith. Srila Prabhupada quoted earlier Madhya Leela. And the platform of Uttamadhikari. He cannot. Uh, answer the questions. He cannot. Uh, if there are two things are opposing, he cannot reconcile. Those who are in dilemma, what to do or not to do, how they can help the devotee. So, he telling like this, when you have attained the platform of Uttama Vigari, he can initiate. And, and actually he is qualified to preach, <coughs> otherwise he can be involved in all these things. We are seeing all these things. Someone Next disciples and a very beautiful devotee, lady devotee came and he involved and gets all these things and with Mary or not Mary he goes and that. There are so many, not only a young He is involved in money and praise, self praise and all this. A neophyte Vaishnava or a Vaishnava situated on the intermediate platform can also accept disciples, but, but. but such disciples must be on the same platform, mm -hmm. and it should be understood that they cannot advance very well towards the ultimate goal of life under his insufficient guidance. Therefore, a disciple should be careful. No, no. This will explain something. So, Uttama Dikari, like Narad and all others, are actually Guru. But sometimes, a Madhyama Dikari or a Guru, being Uttama Dikari, he comes in the stage of Madhyama Dikari. When he is bona fide in all kinds of siddhant, shastra siddhant, and his sabdha is so strong, and perhaps this stage is madhyam madhyam or madhyam In this stage he can initiate some, unlimited, not so much and they be very, very carefully that he should, uh, they cannot, uh, mm, no, no. such disciples must be on the same platform. What platform? I am always in Muslim. I am not, I cannot help them, my disciples, so much. They should run There are no such high class of Vaishnava. So I am giving letters like peon, postman. like postman. They should understand. There is stage where they are standing. So they should not be proud that I am making lakhs and lakhs. Then he is falling. And he must fall. He is falling but to fall. If he is humble, he may advance into Uttama Dikari and he, he will be. Surely, very soon he will be like that. To preach and to initiate. <coughs> and it should be understood that they cannot advance very well towards ultimate goal of life under his insufficient guidance. Anyone cannot go. 
they cannot advance, he should know who those who are giving initiation. And he should not be proud that I am same as Nityananda Prabhu. And you should obey me like Nityananda Prabhu. This, is, this will be offense. He should know that I am not like Rupa Goswami, like Nityananda Prabhu. He should not have this. Yeah. False. 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 He always there should realize his own position. He should pray. I know that, oh, <coughs> I'm helping them. <coughs> but we see that so many disciples are there and Guru is there. And after that, he made about 2,000 disciples. And he became himself Bhagavan or anyone. And after that, what became? Went to hell. So we should not think that, oh, think me as my, uh, as Nityananda, Saksha Tharitvena Samastha I am that person. Saksha Tharitvena. But actually, the <coughs> a guru who is was sincere. He will not think like this. He will think like a messenger of Nityananda Prabhu. He should think. He should not know that. I am a same person. I will come again and again and I will take you. Yeah. He will not tell. Nityananda Prabhu can tell. So don't imitate that I am Uttam Adhikari. Then why? I, uh, I heard that a disciple took sword and he wanted to kill him. Spiritual master. Spiritual. And he gave a knife here. Why? And at the time of Gurudev, he is himself initiating so many. Without order. Why? This is very bad thing. So we cannot, uh, they cannot advance very well. This should know. So I should take shelter or guidance of any advanced <coughs> spiritual master. And then he will not do anything against high classes of Vaishnava. But if he is not so, then he will make so many offenses in the higher, in the lotus feet of higher devotees. He is bound to do. Therefore, disciples should be careful to accept Uttam Adhikari as a spiritual master. So this should be very, very careful in this. Then come in text six. Dristais Sobhava Janitais Shabapusasya Doshail Naprakitatami Habhaksa Janasya Pashe Gangam Hasanu Kalubhadu Bhadapenu Pankail Brahma Travat Samapagat Shatini Radharmai Dristais Sobhava Janitais so first we should try to honor three classes of Vaishnava. That it has been explained. <coughs> Krishnaiti just agreeing. Tang manasad dhyata. Those who are taking one name, even they should be respected. Whether he is our god brother or anywhere. He should be Vaishnava. We should treat and honor him as the Vaishnava. In case he is not our God brother, then what should we do? We, should we try to 
take his neck here and do. Oh, go away from it. Don't come in our territory. And he will pass out of that age. Oh, anyone should not go to this person. He is out of our boundary. He is not the guru of, or in the line of our guru. Whether he will be very, very high class of the guru. So, we should honor all these things, what it has been explained in. So, those who are taking Vandana, they should be honored with mind. And those who are initiated, actually, and chanting names, and he, they have been initiated, and chanting name always. That should be uh, honored by mind and also by body, mind and speech. And those who are more higher, not criticizing anyone, having no uh, unearth, no unearth, uh, not Having not uh, ninda, uh, no dvesh at all, and yes, out of that, yeah. And always <coughs> chanting and remembering the past times of Krishna, Ashtakali Lila. That should be honored with heart, core of heart. Give your head. Heart, everything in that. Person's lot of faith and serve. Serve his speeches, serve his lot of faith, everything. Krishna Bhakti Rasabhavita Mati Kriyatam Kutoti. The Tatralod Nama Pamulya Me Kalam Jan Mukoti. By serving him, you can have a very thick greed in a spontaneous service of Krishna, it will certainly come. Then he is telling that if a Vaishnava is in that standard, but Kanishtha Bhadhikari cannot, the string is that whether he is Uttamadhikari, Madhamadhikari or Kanishtha Bhadhikari. Madhamadhikari can realize this. But sometimes he may misguide. If he will see a very beautiful, John, energetic person chanting or delivering his speech, thinks that, oh, he is very bona fide guru. And if more advanced, like Ashtabhakra, and he is preaching, but he is so ugly, his voice is not uh, so sweet, he will think that, oh, he is bogus person. <laughs> so for them, he is telling, drishtai shabhao janitai vapusascha doshai na prakatitva miha bhakta janasya karshi ganga vasang na khalu budhubudh bhena pankai brahmadvatvama pagatya tindhita. You can read the translation. Being situated in his original Krishna conscious position, a pure devotee does not identify with the body. Such a devotee should not be seen from a materialistic point of view. Indeed, one should overlook a devotee's having a body born in a low family. You should know here one thing. A low class of devotee. He does not think anything from the view of uh, spiritual vision. He becomes sometimes against any pure devotee only with the views of material things, material things. 
तो फिर तो ठीक है और वैष्णव So one should overlook a devotee's having a body born in a low family, a body with a bad complexion, a deformed body, or a diseased or infirm body. According to what? Yes, Same thing? After that. According to ordinary vision, such imperfections may seem prominent in the body of a pure devotee. But despite such seeming defects, the body of a pure devotee cannot be polluted. It is exactly like the waters of the Ganges, which sometimes, during the rainy season, are full of bubbles, foam, and mud. The Ganges waters do not become polluted. Those who are advanced in spiritual understanding will bathe in the Ganges without considering the condition of the water. <coughs> Once a rishi named Astagarka went in the council of Maharaj and a soul learned and can. So many races and money of high class, Brahmavadi, realizing them were there. <coughs> and this Ashtabhakra was crooked from all body. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <coughs> Taking a stick with a very very cast to say. With great difficulty. Anyhow he came. He traveled the path of one day in one month. Understand? Anyhow. No. But he came to the council of Maharaj. Uh, seeing him, all began to laugh. Maharaj Janak also laughed. <coughs> oh, this person is so des desperate that here are so many Latin councils. And without any fears, he entered. His skin art is so dark, rough, rough and black. Here something crooked, here something crooked, mouth is crooked, everything. But he, how he dare to come here? No good clothes, nothing. There were some, what, in back, pores, cracks. All began to laugh. For a moment he was silent, but after that he also laughed so much more than them. <laughs> <laughs> and all were struck down. Why he is laughing? <laughs> Their laughing was stopped. Then Maharaj Janak came to him and told him, Who are you? And why you are laughing? He told that, who am I? I will tell further, afterwards. But I am laughing. But I am not laughing. I am weeping, crying. Very far away I am coming. And you, so you are seeing my position. I cannot walk. But I came here. Only to see the counsels of Maharaj Janak, so learned it. I have heard it. He had a Brahmagani like Jagya Balk and all others. But at that time Jagya Balk was not there. So I came to hear their discourses and teachings. But here I have become hopeless. Why? 
Will I have become hopeless? All are so loveless. He told Jesus, I'm not seeing anyone loveless. But I'm saying that all are here. Cobblers. 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 Cobblers means? Shoemaker. And he became great. Maharajan. All of you are Cobblers. Why not? All are hopeless. Totally all. I'm not saying that there is so much learned person coming in the Brahman Bansa. I'm so learned. Brahmavadi Rishi. No, no. And they all are hopeless. Why? Like cobblers work from skins. They only, oh, this skin is so chrome leather. <laughs> this is what leather? Good to come here. Whether it is chrome or not, or not. So they are of the same class. They cannot see whether Atma is pure or not. They cannot realize Atma and Paramatma. Only body, this is skin. They are expert in skin, but not expert in Atma. And all became ascend. And at once Maharaj Janak came in the lotus feet of that Rishi and he took him on the his, on his own throne. throne and began to apologize. He ascended. You should not apply our worldly vision, worldly vision to any devotees. Always be careful. Don't criticize any Vaishnava for your body's gain or mental gain. For money, for reputation, for any other thing. But we are doing like so. If any devotee will come and influence this area, then we will have nothing to gain, no money, no disciple, nothing. And then it is a very, very what, harmful for us. So we should think something like this. This is only this view, not Swami's view. Then perfect, very, you come to 63. If we consider the bodily defects of a Vaishnava, we should understand that we are committing an offense at the lotus feet of the Vaishnava. Mm. We and should always be careful for this. Mm. An offense at the lotus feet of a Vaishnava is very serious. Mm. Indeed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has described this offense as Hati Mata the mad elephant offense. A mad elephant can create a disaster, especially when it enters into a nicely trimmed garden. One should therefore be very careful not to commit any offense against the Vaishnava. Every devotee should be ready to take instructions from a superior Vaishnava, and a superior Vaishnava must be ready to help an inferior Vaishnava in all respects. He has told all things. To for uh, devotees were sadhak in lower grade and the sadhak of upper grade. Those is initiating and those who are initiated. For both. Every Devotees should be ready to take instructions from a superior Vaishnava. And a superior Vaishnava must be ready, ready to help inferior Vaishnava. <coughs> this is the same term of Mad Uttam Mad Madhyam Adhikari. Madhyam Adhikari. And if he is not doing, then he is doing offenses. They should do like this. One is superior or inferior. According to his 
spiritual development in Krishna consciousness. Very superiority, superiority or inferiority. We should always. If you are mathematically, you should always consider this. Then you can progress. Or otherwise your progress will be stopped. So always be careful about this. Then? One is forbidden to observe the activities of a pure Vaishnava from a material point of view. But now we are seeing like this. We should change our this view if we want to advance. And if we are not changing, then making, making, making more, 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 more offenses. And at last we will be right. For the neophyte especially, considering a pure devotee from a material point of view is very injurious. From? For? Neophyte especially, considering a pure devotee from a material point of view is very injurious. Mm -hmm. One should? Therefore, avoid... No, no, one should? Therefore. Avoid observing a pure devotee externally but should try to see the internal features and understand how he is engaged in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. Always be careful and see how he is engaged in his transcendental loving services of Krishna. But he is offending, always offensive. Nature cannot have this reason of sin. But we should try. In this way, one can avoid seeing the pure devotee from a material point of view, and thus we can gradually become a purified devotee. One can gradually become a purified devotee himself. Go on. Those who think that Krishna consciousness is limited oh, this very important thing. to a certain I've section. Lined. You should also line. <laughs> Those who think that Krishna consciousness is like a liberal view that Narada is in Krishna consciousness. Vyasa is in that. All the Vaishnava, um, uh, like uh, Ramanuja, Vishnu Swami, Nambadi, the disciples, all are Krishna consciousness. Oh, there are something, uh, what, Vaishishtya, especially. This is another thing. We'll have some more honor, but we'll have to honor all. Hmm. Yeah? So, those who think that Krishna consciousness is limited to a shortened section of people, they are wrong. Hmm? Again, go on. For a certain section of devotees. Shortened section of devotees only, or we only, and all are rejected. <coughs> we should not have any sung association of if you cannot associate, then you can have honor. What harm to have honor to them? <coughs> Don't be honor. You should honor. It is okay that if it is in line, in same uh, what I want, Swajati Snigdha Asa. We should associate with the devotees, please. Snigdha, Swajatiya, Swajati men? Say what I want. What is the object of mind? Is in the line of same. Like I want to be a friend of Krishna, he should be like this. I want to be in the line of Rupa Goswami, I will see that he is more superior than me, but in this line. In the line of Srila Rupa Then we should associate with him always, with very honor. But don't dishonor anyone. Guru Goste, Gostale, Shushujane, Ghusurugane. Even the Brahmins who are living in Vrindavan don't dishonor. If they are not in 
one ended in Krishna, sometimes they worship Vishnu, Vaikuntha, Dvarkadhis, Krishna. In the same line, no harm. Having some. We should not be wrong. Or make any offense. But we cannot associate with them because they are not in the line of proportion. So this is all right. But oh God, we cannot make with them. This is very often. It will harm our bhakti. Then go on. Uh, so those who think that Krishna consciousness is limited to a certain section of the a certain section of devotees. We are iskon, all are Ananda, not iskon. Then what will And that is going on in this time. And that is why a very problem for them. Or a one certain tract of land are generally prone to see the external features of the what is the meaning of certain tract of land? An area of land, America or Europe. They should understand these things. And then we, then we will be qualified to preach or anything. Then they will practically and sincerely push. Anyone. So we will have to change our this. So they are prone to see the external features of the devotee. Mm. Such neophytes, unable to appreciate the exalted service of the advanced devotee, try to bring the Mahabhagavat to their platform. What is the meaning? Um, they see that he, he has... Mahabhagavat is also in my platform. I have envy, he has also envy. I am thief, so she is Everything like him. Also, I can control him also. This is very big offense. We experience such difficulty in propagating this Krishna consciousness all over the world. Unfortunately, we are surrounded by neophyte God brothers who do not appreciate. Yet, or new, okay? Neophyte. Uh, neophyte. They don't know all these things. Shriddhan, actually. But is Vaishnava, they are not doing. Only they have heard that mantra. But actually they are not Vaishnava. Madhyam Adhikari. And that is why they are doing wrong. He has some experience. And that is why. Uh, he is saying that some god followers are quarreling within them not honoring high classes of Vaishnava. That not understanding what he is doing, Swami so um, yeah, criticize him in any way. So he is telling. To be there for their disciples. Uh, and to be careful. Hmm. Who do not appreciate the extraordinary activities yes. of spreading Krishna consciousness all over the world. Mm. They simply try to bring us to their platform and they try to criticize us in every respect. The same position is now. Same position. So we should be very careful. Mm. We very much regret their naive activities and poor fund of knowledge. An empowered person who is actually engaged in the confidential service of the Lord should not be treated as an ordinary human being. For it is stated that unless one is empowered by Krishna, one cannot spread the Krishna consciousness movement all over the world. When one thus criticizes a pure devotee, he commits an offense. When one thus criticizes, a pure devotee. He commits an offense. Vaishnava Aparat. 
This is very destructive and dangerous for those who desire to advance in Krishna consciousness. They can progress. But there is envy and worldly vision, material vision, they are bound to do so. So sometimes Acharya like Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, Prasati and all descend to this world. A person cannot derive any spiritual benefit when he offends the lotus feet of a Vaishnava. Everyone should therefore be very careful not to be jealous of an empowered Vaishnava or a Shuddha Vaishnava. The Shuddha and the Shuddha have a little smell of envy. You should always be careful. Don't be liberated. Try to honor. Not right. You should honor all Vaishnavas. Don't criticize them. If you cannot uh, associate, no harm. But don't dishonor. If Vaishnav is, he knows that he, Vaishnav is doing some bad thing. Is going to prostitute. He is mixing with bad society. He should not associate with him, but don't dishonor him. Otherwise, his bad qualities will come in your view. Mm -hmm. Come. It is also an offense to consider an empowered Vaishnava an object of disciplinary action. <laughs> what is the meaning, Prabhu? What is the meaning? Um, actually, Vaishnavas are to be honored in all cases and never are we to be in a critical mood of any of them. not our duty. We are all belonging to Krishna. This is the Specifically, before I stated that an empowered person who is actually engaged in the confidential service of the Lord should not be treated as an ordinary human being. For it is stated that unless one is empowered by Krishna, one can spread the Krishna conscious movement. So this is speaking about uh, Uttam Bhagavad, that such person should not be considered the object of um, discipline. Rather, such person is directly impossible. This is, uh, control them by this cyclic no, rules and rules. All you should come. We have made some rules, so you should follow. <laughs> so they go, Swami, come on, come on. You should first take your cross <laughs> and have a tilak. <laughs> and the Tulsi Mala, otherwise we will not hear him. <laughs> we go from here. You control him. Hi, Dastakur. Have you accepted any guru from whom, whom you have taken initiation? He will, what he will tell? He will smile that he don't know anything and he wants to control him. So give, don't give any instruction to them. Don't give any advice to them if you want to gain something. Don't advise. Don't control them. I know that a Kanishta Dikari, he wants to control Madham and Uttam. Sometimes Madham also. Uh, by ignorance, he wants to control. Oh, you should. I've heard from Swamiji in a very, he was in a very worry mood. And he told me that now I'm controlled. So many persons want to control me. So many things that I don't want to. That is blaming me. But we should be careful. It is difficult. 
offensive to try it is offensive to try to give him advice or to correct him uh, now you are correcting this oh guru they should be corrected mm -hmm. they should be advised he does not know worldly things mm -hmm. he has no knowledge he has not gone to uh, oxford university or <laughs> He has only gone to Vaidyas uh, Thakur University, <laughs> school of school of Gaur Kishor Das. He does not know etiquette and all this. Who is there? Are arrested in Oxford University. So I know much more all this. You you only know how to chant Hari Krishna <laughs> and to tell Hari Katha. It will not do. So. Sometimes you should follow me. Don't give. <laughs> <laughs> There was a, an old person in our mart. His nam, name was Muni Maharaj. He took sannyas with. His age was hundred. <laughs> Once he was sitting in a very little room, uh, attached to my room. He was very much. Helpful for me, and always he helped me, and I also served him whole life. He was telling that all knows me that he has, he is a very old gibdha. Very old. He cannot move. He cannot do anything. Useless person, but I am here and looking like.